exciting day because we're doing two things. One, we are finally making sliding doors to cover all the mess that I have over there. And two, we are doing it with my incredible hubby. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> the plan of today is to make this into sliding doors and what I really wanted is for the sliding doors to be invisible. This means that we're gonna make the doors go all the way to the ceiling so they can't understand that they are doors, but that would be too heavy, so we're cutting the door in half. Basically, we have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing it. Because we're lazy, we just ordered and pre-cut it. But basically what we did is order the height that we want of the door with, uh, I think two meters, two meters 20, measure your own door. Initially, I thought that I wanted to put smaller pieces of wood on the head of the height of my wood, but then I realized that I would need a nail that is long like 15 centimeters, which is obviously not an option, so we're going to end up putting them on top. Let us show you. Nothing complicated over here. You just see us trying to put them as straight as possible. And then we make trr, 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 a few holes where we're going to put the screws inside. Here are the screws that obviously have to be longer than the two woods put together. Otherwise, one is not going to catch the other one. 10 seconds into the tutorial and we already did a disaster. You have to go inside with your holes just to cut out the first of the top wood. Because if you go too deep, then basically the nail goes deeply inside and you're not catching anything. So you're not holding the door. We did a hundred holes here. That's not what you want to do. We're going to do four holes per side. Yes. Now that we understood how to make these holes, you see us going very quickly. We are geniuses! Here and there and making holes everywhere. We're going to do this on every single corner. Does this mean you're doing every video with me right now? No. And we are going to add also a third piece of wood in the middle to give it even more stability. Okay guys, at this point we literally have a huge door. This is going to be our full frame, but I want this to be a super cool door. So as I said, I don't want anybody to understand this is a door. So for this reason, we are putting, first of all, a normal cover. And after that, look what I got. I don't think you're ready for this. Yeah. This basically looks like real rock and it also has this 3D texture effect. I am obsessed with it and as you can see, it's very light and that is because it's made out of foam. I don't want my door to be 100 million kilos heavy so I can't slide it anyway. And we're gonna cover the entire door with this, go all the way to the ceiling so it's just gonna look like a huge column. Let's go. So as you guys can see, this piece is actually way taller, way longer than that one. Now it's no mistake, it actually was her idea. She wants to basically hide the metal slide of the door, right? Yeah, so okay. we're gonna install the metal frame on the wall, but we do not want to see that. So that's why we made this longer, and actually even the bricks that we're gonna put on top are gonna be even taller, so that when it slides, it covers completely the trail which make it basically the invisible wall that Nicole wants to do. So let's see how it's gonna work out. Okay, it's very hard to do it on the table. No, I am. I don't ah, do sorry. <laughs> I don't need to do it. Yeah. I don't think you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Doing this on the table is way too hard. We are moving to the floor. Whatever you're holding is working. <laughs> and while this guy is snacking and doesn't want to help me anymore, <laughs> we're going on with the tutorial. So now we have to simply stick this beautiful cover on the top. Guys, this is just an idea. You can literally put whatever you want on top of here. You can just paint it, you can put paneling and make squares out of it, like this. You can put wood beams, you can put diagonal beams. Take out the gun and we're ready. I don't wanna lose it now. Can you come and be strong for me? <laughs> it's all bicep workout. Okay, this glue is super strong. Now, now we wiggle it in. Pushing the glue everywhere. Uh, it is a muscle. Baby, that's why I tell you that I don't need the gym. 
can all comment below the bigness of my biceps. Wait, wait. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> no, this is Photoshop. <laughs> After the bicep challenge, all you've got left to do is put a lot of glue all over the door. However big your door is, try to match the lines as good as possible. And then you do also the top side. Yes, our doors are huge, so you're going to have to repeat the same pattern several times. And then it ends up being that you do not have the exact amount that you need to put. So I need to cut smaller pieces to match them with the top of the door. So to be sure that I would cover the entire piece of wood and the metal frame that we set, we don't want to see because we don't want to see the door sliding on it. Add more glue, add more glue, add more foam, add more this. Yes, basically it's the same thing over and over. At this point, what was left to do was to prepare the wall to put our metallic sliding frames. So we had to take off this weird shelf that was on top of our door. Once we had this, we had a straight line. First of all, this is freaking cool. If you look really well, you can see the connections line. But honestly, when you look at it from far away, it doesn't. And even if you would see it, you would just think that it's tiles. So it still looks pretty awesome. Now, we need to create this lighting. I bought a huge two meters line and this is what goes inside. So this, and this is what we have to screw on the head of the door so that after it can just in the door and it slides with it. This is so easy. Like a sliding door. I just tried to order it the other day for a client. It was $3,000, the cheapest one, custom made obviously. We're doing this for nothing. And it's way cooler. Normally you just have to screw it to the top of the door, but we have this thing on the back just because we don't want to see the metal frame. So this is going to go here on the head of your door. If you have a normal sliding door, it's going to be on the total top. We do it here. Go and mark where it is that you're going to make your holes, then make a the little bit of holes on the top, then you make the screws inside and you're done. Give it to me, baby. I am not gonna lie to you and this was basically the hardest part of the full tutorial because we couldn't go straight we have this leveler on the top that helped us do it and <laughs> it was so hard so you're gonna see me now put a metallic frame on top of the wood piece that we stick because there was a dis level between the wall and the door and I'm not sure you're gonna have to do this but basically yeah you need a straight line to put this straight and be sure that the door is gonna slide without any problem once you finally got this straight you can just go and insert your door inside but first you screw it to the wall I am so excited and I can't stop shouting but we're gonna now have to hook this on the back of our screw the one that we did before on the top of the door you know what I'm talking about? Then we're just gonna slide the door inside the frame that we just inserted and it should work. There you see us trying to put the door inside the slide. Are you ready? Now we need to do the second door. Good luck. <laughs> Once Zari was gone, all I had to do was repeat the same identical process three more times because I needed three extra doors. And I added this little piece to connect the missing part of the door to the wall because obviously we need to go straight in there. And I did the same thing on the top. Two days later, I built it the second door. I built two doors on the top part so that it can be a huge door and connected it. Yes, it's behind me. I'm going to show you in a second. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And... See you next Monday. I'm gonna have to show you the videos in vertical because it's too high to put it in an horizontal frame, but yeah. One, you can push the top and the bottom door at the same time or you can disconnect it. I'm gonna show you now what happens if I pull the door without inclining it and I pull it. You can see that also the top door is opening with me so I can open completely all that section. Option number two instead is incline slightly the door so that the top door and the bottom door do not connect anymore and at that point I can slide out only the bottom door if I want to keep the top one completely closed because I can build something else up there or the opposite I can open the upstairs and make a little sort of balcony and leave the bottom closed basically it's super versatile and I love this.